Hi, it's Brad here. I just wanted to give you a quick look at our suburban permaculture duck pond system. And uh, so this is the little kiddie pool that's been converted into a pond. And I've actually plumbed this down to, uh, to allow the water to be drained and refilled um, without making too much of a mess and actually use some of the nutrient rich water for, uh, for the garden and the yard. Um, so here's that little area, it's a little duck pond that's raised slightly above the ground but there's plenty of access around with the rocks. That's the little house that I built. Um, not so much about that now but uh, I'll give you a quick look at this. It's got handles that hinge up so you can get in there and clean it all out. Um, they make a bit of mess so you do need to be able to do that. It's um, very solid and sturdy so completely predator proof. Um, the door hinges up that becomes a bit of a runway for them to come in and out um, I have Muscovy ducks and Muscovy ducks are here they are and these are only little ones they're only a little over seven weeks now so but they're pretty they're pretty uh, almost full size um, but they haven't got all their proper feathers yet so they're they're still little ones but anyway, the pond. So the pond, uh, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to empty it out. Um, so that's why I'm doing it now. But it empties out in the middle. And then there's a there's a line that comes down along here. Down, 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 down underneath the ground. And comes to this area here. And that's where there's a silt trap. Which is basically a big pit. Not a big pit, a little pit. Um, that catches all the silt. Because as you'll see... There's a bunch of stuff that they bring in, either their poop and um, stuff that they're, they're bringing from the surrounding area into the water. Um, and it's easily uh, possible to clog up the lines with that stuff. And is pretty nutrient dense, so it might be a bit, a bit too much if it goes straight onto the garden or anything. But let me have a look um, so I can pull up this very heavy <coughs> concrete block. Yeah, uh, done. Um, and you'll see there's an outlet there. That's where the plumbing comes uh, comes to to let out the water into this silt trap. So you see this sort of stuff is in there. Um, every now and then I'll have to dig that up and empty it out. Um, but then what you'll find is this uh, slotted ag, ag pipe, um, and that's got slots it takes in the water. Once it gets up to a certain level, take the water. And a run down this pathway here, which is a slight incline. And what we've got here is so all of this is dug out, and you see the red wood chips on top. So it comes level, but underneath we've got a, a channel that's dug straight into the ground. And all the way along here, all the way along there, 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 all the way up as you can see past the trampoline and the dog, is a swale. Uh, it's kind of an urban adaptation of a swale, which is basically a level ditch. So it's dug on level contour. Hello. <laughs> it's dug on level contour, and that allows the water to evenly distribute out along that line um, and soak in, soak into the ground. So that nutrient and the water soaks into the water table um, just behind it here is my kitchen garden, so that will receive a lot of the water. So anyway, let's have a look. Um, we've currently got the lid off the silk trap here. I can go in and unplug it and let's see uh, how it goes. So uh, down in here, I've got a couple of blocks here for them to be able to get in and out easily, especially when they were little, but they're getting bigger now so they can get in and out easier. So I pull the plug out of there and you can hear it already coming down into the into the silt trap. Pulls out nicely. It'll fill beyond that point. Easily. And I try and keep as much stuff out of that little hole. So I've got that bit of wire holding back all the wood chips. 
But once it gets up to that level, it's starting to go down that slotted, slotted ag pipe down into the system um, quite quickly. So let's have a look back what we've got here. It's emptying pretty quickly, but this is what you see. A little bit smelly. I've left this not quite a week. They'll, they'll silt it up pretty easily. Um, so I've got, you know, the stuff that we get in here that I'll need to clean out. But I don't necessarily want going down the hole. But otherwise, I can wash this all in. This is all good nutrient. So I'll just give that a bit of a rinse before I fill it up again. Get a lot of that silt going down there. And as long as we're maintaining that silt trap, you know, a lot of this stuff should easily float down. And disappear and I can give them nice clean water again. And the cycle continues. So what we're doing here is we're giving them, you know, we're giving them a nice pond to do all their business into. Um, they love to go for a swim. And at the same time, we're supplying water and nutrients, what some might call fertigation, fertilization and irrigation, to uh, to the rest of the yard and the garden. So let's have another quick look down at the uh, the silk trap. It's pretty much filled up to its maximum level and now it's starting to sink back down again. In a moment, you'll, it'll get to the level as a couple of centimeters below that where the, uh, where the pipe is that's gonna take the water away and down into the swale. So it'll slowly make its way down, 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 down along there. And of course, into here, soak into those wood chips. And the only real maintenance that I'll need to do with this system, apart from digging out the uh, silt trap probably monthly, is I would suggest every couple of years, maybe one, but probably two years, um, we'll have nice rich compost from the wood chips and the fertigated water that goes into the swale that I'll just have to dig out and um, replace um, in those swales with new wood chips and start the process again and I'll have beautiful compost as well to use anywhere we like, probably around fruit trees given it's wood chips and it'll probably be very rich um, well you could put it anywhere really so there it is and obviously we put the plug back in now we fill that guy up, they've got fresh water and the cycle continues. <sighs> Look, I'd like to do it every once a week, but I think um, the way they make a mess of this, it, it might even have to be a couple times a week. But um, good water for the garden, good fun for them. Um, a pretty, you know, easy system to look after, to give them fresh, clean water um, and give our, our yard all the fertilization that it needs from these guys. So that's about it. I wanted to show you anyone that's um, having ducks in uh, you know urban environment, suburban environment that uh, that you can do this with with any ducks. These ducks are great. Um, the Muscovy ducks as I said earlier. These ducks are great in the suburban environment where you've got neighbors close by because they don't make any loud noise like most other ducks so uh there it is all right have a great day catch you next time